The deflection should be limited to prevent cracking of the member as well as the damage of the finishes, partitions and fixings of the structure. For beam and slab subjected to quasi-permanent load, the basic span per depth ratio L per D is limited to span divided by 250. Eurocode provides two equations to check for the deflections of a RC structure. It is referred from clause 7.4.2. When rho is less than rho node, the first equation is applied. When rho is more than rho node, the second equation will be used. Rho represents the area of reinforcement bar required divided by Vd, while rho node is the square root of the compressive strength of concrete. As for the rho prime, the area of compressive reinforcement bar required divided by BD is calculated. The care value is obtained from table 7.4n. In the table, the care vary according to different conditions. The first condition is simply supported beam. The second condition is the end span and continuous beam. The third condition is interior span of the beam for a continuous beam. And the fourth condition is for the flat slab. And the last one is for the cantilever. First of all, you need to decide which equation that you, you are using by checking the row against the row load. Once you have decided, Substitute the relevant value into the, rest of the equations and you're going to check your L per D limit to be always greater than the actual. The actual L per D can be obtained by dividing the total length of the member with the depth of the member. For the flank sections, the calculated L per D will have to multiply with 0 0.8 when the flank to wet weight ratio is more than 3. As for the two-way slab, the L per D of the shorter span is checked. While for the flat slab, the L per D for the longer span is to be checked. You may also use this L per D chart for you to compute the L per D ratio. However, this chart is not given in Eurocode. As far as Eurocode concerned, Eurocode provides you this equation. Some reinforced concrete design references will give you this chart. The y-axis of the chart represents the L per D ratio and the x-axis of the chart represents the rho. The curve represents the concrete strength and these curves are plotted with k equals to 1.0. The chart by default is meant for simply supported span and without compression steel and the steel working stress are YK, FYK equals to 500 Newton per mn square. In order to use this chart, you need to compute the row first and determine the concrete strength that you need to use. Once you have decided the row, then you start to draw a straight line upward and then touching the curve of the concrete strength, let's say 25 and then to the y axis, you will get the relevant value of the L per D ratio. If the member is other than simply supported beam, where the K is not equal to 1.0, you can always multiply with the K number of the respective type of situation. 
the calculated L per D ratio may be modified under these circumstances. When the member's bank is more than 7 meter, the L per D is to be multiplied with 7 divided by the span. As for the slab, flat slab, when the span is more than 8.5 meter, it is to be multiplied with 8.5 per span. When the characteristic strength of the reinforcement bar is greater than 500 Newton per mn square, the, it is to be multiplied with the ratio of 500 divided by FYK that you are using. When your provided AS is greater than the required AS at the ultimate limit state, so it is to be multiplied with AS provided divided by AS required. However, this number is to be limited within 1.5 